praying right now. He scared me to cut his leg off. Or that they're going to give him some bad news. Really, really bad news. He's got a bad, bad feeling. That he's going to get bad news. So that's why he left the hospital and cooked for him. And they was being mean to him. Uh, Cookville, Putnam County Hospital. What is it called? Cookville Regional Hospital. They was being very mean to him there. So he left. But they want to keep him because they want to do surgery on his leg. So I just stopped and I bought him new clothes, new supplies, new shirt, new pair of shorts, took him to the truck shop, got him a shower. I, you know, I wish I could have let him run up front. If you look at these inside the truck, we don't have enough room. There is no room. I got two kids back here. I've got to get a bigger bib. But we're right back, right back to the back. And we are. And we are on our way to Livingston Hospital now, but the whole way there he has been praying to God. He's had his hand, he's had his head kneeled down into his hands in a prayer mode the whole way. Because he's praying to God. He knows there's bad news. I'll show you the one again when we get there. The one infection has really spread it all over his leg, like really bad. I'm not mean, it's spread it. It's ungodly how bad it is spread it. But they scared to death. Look at him back here. He's just yeah, scared to death. They scared, but you know, it's either this, it's either now. lay in the woods and die or don't die. You know, you know what's crazy? I find it very crazy in America. You know, I understand I'm driving right now, but I find this very crazy in America that people like this are left to forgot they're left behind. He is being forgotten. All because he's homeless. Okay, he was getting a check that was $900, $800, $900 a month. They cut that check in half because he was homeless. How are you supposed to get a place for $400 a month? There's no problem with what? Is that even made? I mean, really, what sense does that make? Well, I mean, it's not Black Lives Matter. It's all lives matter. I don't understand. Everyone's lives matter. When I grew up, if she liked Donald Trump and I liked Joe Biden, we were still best friends. Now, if she likes Donald Trump and I like Joe Biden, we're fighting. We're fighting. This is a new century that we're bringing our kids. This is a new. This is the new uh, teaching that we are teaching. This is millennium. I like to call them millennium retard, but you're not calling that. Because it's really not kids' fault that are fighting over the politicians that are fighting with each other. It's really the parents' fault. The way they raise their kids. If, she, if I want to be for Donald Trump or if she wants to be for Donald Trump, that should be okay. If she wants to be for Joe Biden and I want to be for Donald Trump, that should be fine. fine. And we'd still be best friends. That's the way it used to be. That's the way it always was before. I just want to know what happened to change it. I've got a guy at the back back here in Tumwood. There's okay, a thousand more just like 